Hey everybody, Brandon Mason here from Eastman's and we're going to bring you a new review from a piece of cryptic apparel that we're testing out and also show you how you can get one for free. But before we do that, go down and subscribe to our YouTube channel and mash that subscribe button and then turn on the notifications so you can get more gear reviews just like this each and every time we put them out, which is almost every week here at Eastman's. Last year, we brought you a review on the cryptic Bora vest in their altitude line. Absolutely amazing piece of technical apparel and we showed you how you could get one for free by signing up for our gift subscription program to Eastman's Hunting Journal and Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Well this year we got this cryptic Sonora hoodie. The Sonora hoodie is a fully articulated lightweight breathable hooded layer from Cryptic as you can see in their altitude line. I've been using hooded base layers for years now. I'm a big fan of hoods for a variety of reasons that really help with temperature regulation and one of the things I love in hot weather especially in a highly breathable piece like this is it gives you a personal sunshade to keep that sun from beating down on your head it's just amazing especially for uh, like what we're doing right now we're scouting for high country mule deer it's fantastic for early season elk for early season bow hunting mule deer and also bow hunting antelope when it's often 90 degrees out in the arid uh, sagebrush country of the west. So the cryptic Sonora hoodie, it's got the Sonora name as you might expect referring to desert regions and how to stay cool and that's what this layer helps you do. Then in addition when the temperature starts to drop it's a perfect base layer piece. Last night and this morning while we were glassing I had this base layer piece on the cryptic Bora vest over top of that and then puffy layers on top of that as I needed uh, to help in the cool dawn and dust temperatures when we're glassing for mule deer. Now this layer is, like I said, fully articulated and instead of having a center zip as a lot of their competitors do, there's individual buttons that they put, Cryptic use the buttons instead of the zippers for a lot of reasons. Some guys have problems with chest hair uh, getting caught in the, in the zippers. I personally don't have that problem, but I can see where it'd be a, an issue. Uh, I do have problems when I'd get the lightweight base layers of, of other ones that I've used caught in my beard though. No problem with that here. And then it's nice too, because you can unbutton it to cool off to whatever level um, that you may want to. And like I said, it's got the hood that comes up and you can fully enclose your face which is also good for camouflage concealment and shading your face so that you don't stick out like a sore thumb when you're bow hunting and you have animals in close range. Or you can bring it back just a little bit so you have full peripheral uh, field of view and it doesn't obstruct your vision. And it's comfortable either way. And it's a nice stretch fit material so that it's not blowing off in the wind or causing problems. Also on cool mornings, if I forget my gloves, it's got the thumb holes in there and it's also nice for when you're layering up and putting other uh, heavier base layers or a vest or whatever on it that your sleeves don't slide up on you like this when you're trying to put another layer over the top. And another thing that I love about the thumb holes in the sleeves, besides the fact that it's you know keeps your hands a little bit warmer if you don't have your gloves on or if you don't want to put your gloves on and it's nice to keep those other layers from sliding up or this layer from sliding up when you're putting another layer over top of it is that there's a lot of base layers out there that have thumb holes in the sleeves and I have problems with it cutting off the circulation to my thumb and my thumbs get cold and I thought it was because of the material used around here or the thumb holes were too small but in reality what it is is it's an exact correlation to sleeve length and I have orangutan arms and the fact that I can go like this and not have the sleeve come up like this is pretty impressive because very few garments do that on me and so the key there is as you look at if I pull this down when it's not scrunched up it's almost down at you know my fingernails at the tips of my fingers that gives me plenty of sleeve length so it's not putting tension on that joint and causing a loss of circulation. Another feature that the Sonora hoodie has is a chest pocket, a zipper chest pocket, so you can put, you know, calls or any accessories that you need to in there. I usually don't put too much in there because this is a lightweight base layer. If I'm going to carry a lot of gear with, obviously I'm going to have it either in a bino harness like this or a bino pack like this or uh, my backpack or, or in pants pockets also. 
Now I told you that at the beginning of this video that I was going to show you a way that you could get one of these potentially for free. Subscribe to our journals and buy three gift subscriptions for friends and family and we're going to send you one of these Sonora hoodies completely free from, here, from us here at Eastman's and our friends at Cryptic. Well thanks for subscribing to our YouTube channel everybody and remember to stay tuned for more helpful gear reviews just like this.